I came across some footage yesterday of comedian and actor George Lopez, who made some very insulting insinuations in a joking manner at a recent Kamala Harris rally. Before I get into it and highlight what I think is important here, I want to play the footage for you. And also, at the end of this very short clip, there is some added on footage from a Key and Peele skit that I think perfectly sums up the Democrats' reaction to this because they found it hilarious. But watch this, and then we'll talk about it. Donald Trump said he was going to build the wall, and George Lopez said, you better build it in one day because if you leave that material out there overnight... Oh, well, well, well. Fucking Mexicans. Oh, man, do not get me started on the Mexicans. Now, I find it ironic that the same party who are the party of slavery, the party of Jim Crow, the party of the KKK, the party that interned Japanese Americans during World War II simply for being Japanese and thinking that they were spies just because they had Japanese ancestry, is now silent when a Mexican-American makes jokes about other Mexican-Americans. It's ironic, but it doesn't surprise me because the Democrats are the ones that have the race problem. They always have. And unfortunately, they still do. Why... In 2024, are we still having this conversation? Racism is abhorrent. I despise it. I find it to be barbaric and archaic. What happened to the idea that men should be judged by the content of their character and not by the color of their skin? As Martin Luther King said, I believe in that. I believe most conservatives believe in that. I believe that is a fundamentally American idea. But the same party who wants to keep racism alive, even when it's on its last legs, they want to breathe new life in it. And they want to throw things against us who believe in limited government when they are the party that had the problem with racism. They are the ones who treated people of a different skin color like they were subhuman being, even when we did have a problem with race. It was not white people versus black people. It was white Democrats versus black people. White Democrats versus Mexicans. And this is no endorsement of the Republican Party. I have my issues with them as well. But it was the Republican Party, my friends, look it up, that was founded on abolishing slavery. The Democrats were the ones that wanted to keep people in chains. But yet, we see even in 2024 that they haven't completely shaken their racist heritage. Maybe they don't want to. Why is it that the left gets to accuse the us on the right, whether you're a Republican, a Libertarian, anyone who really believes in limited government. Why is it that they want to call us racist? I believe because racism has such a nasty, nasty legacy during a certain time in our history that they believe that they can just throw it out there and that the rest of you are too stupid to see through it. They think that they can kind of be like the boy who cried wolf. If they say something enough, that you'll believe it. Meanwhile, it doesn't make sense to me. Why would George Lopez say derogatory things about his own people, implying that Mexicans are thieves? I would never do that because I believe 
that men should be treated as men and that you should get to know someone and not judge a whole group of people by stereotypes, which are barbaric and stupid. But like I said before, if a conservative made these same remarks, the left would have a field day. Why are the crickets now from the same man who threatened violence against Donald Trump, who committed acts of violence against the Trump supporter in 2018? I'll post a link to that story as well in the description of this video if you'd like to read it. Why not keep the same energy? As someone who believes in America and believes that all people should be treated with dignity and respect. I'm going to call it out on both sides if I see it. Why are Democrats, if they care so much about being the party who is anti-racist now, why are they not calling this out? <laughs> it's so hypocritical. I'm tired of the hypocrisy. I'm tired of the gaslighting. People on the right especially the young people, are not the ones who have the issues with racism. You know why? Because I believe we have a fundamental understanding of what this country is really about. We have a fundamental understanding of e pluribus unum, out of many one, that anyone can come to this country. And as long as they respect the laws, they are free to live their life and celebrate their culture as they choose. It is a fundamental belief around the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution that make us American. Not the color of our skin, not how we choose or don't choose to worship God. The people on the right understand this, and the people on the left seem to be woefully ignorant of that fact. And they seem to be the ones who ironically want to accuse us of doing the very things they're doing. If they wanted to keep the same energy and be consistent, they would be canceling George Lopez for making racist remarks against his own people. But what do we hear? Crickets. And I guarantee that's all you're going to hear. If you agree with me, I want you to do me a favor. Help me highlight this hypocrisy, because I'm tired of it, and I'm tired of the gaslighting. So share this video, help more people to see it, like it so it helps out the algorithm, and subscribe to my channel for more content. Hopefully I won't have to talk about much more of this crap in the future, because hopefully we can get past it. I'm tired of this crap. It's 2024. Come on, people.